everybody, it's Kay. Thank you for stopping by today. I have my BoxyCharm September of 2022 premium box that we're going to look at today. It got here a little bit late. It got here on the 24th this month, but um, it was a pretty good box. So let's jump in there and see what's in here. So, the first thing, and by the way, I got... Um, this is what the card looks like. It says, strut your runway. And I got version, um, it looks like 212 is the version I got. So anyway, um, the first thing I got, and I was really happy to get it. I was concerned, it's really shiny. I was concerned that I wasn't going to get it because the time passed and I have had before where I didn't get my Iconic London palette um, back when uh, Ipsy had the other one. And so this one is slightly different and I got it and I'm really, really happy about it. It's called Dusk to Dance Eyeshadow Palette is what it's called. Dusk to Dance Eyeshadow Palette. So anyway, it's um, really got some pretty colors in it. And I have on a couple of these, um, actually, right now. But anyway, there's a little bit of what the colors look like with it. It's a little hard to tell. Um, so anyway, what I decided I have on today is the base color, and then um, this one in the crease, and then I use this one sort of towards the edge, and then I think the... Um, the little shiny one here I used, you know, like in the inner corners and up above my eyebrows. So this is a really pretty palette, and I am so happy to have it. There's just a lot you can do with it between the different colors. There are only about, let's see, one, two, three, four mattes in it. Then there's some that have some special sparkles in them, like this one, and then this one down here. Um, just a lot you can do. Um, you can go with sort of earth tone or orangey shades like I do have on earth tone today. And um, I know the lipstick is a little bright, but it's what's in the box. So I went ahead and what, used what was in the box. Probably I would have not used this, this shade. I would have used something um, more of a warmer color. This is a brighter color. But anyway, there's a lot, a lot of choices in here. And I like that it's got the the uh, sort of a purple, the purplish side, and then sort of a little bit of a an orangish reddish side, um, in addition to the neutral. I do like that there's, um, you know, the green. This one is actually sort of green. It's called Money Plant down here. Is actually sort of green. So just a lot to choose from in here. Now I will tell you when I was putting this on, I did notice that there was some fallout here, and I'm and I have some sparkles that I didn't really plan to have. But that is, um, is something that does happen with Iconic. That I've heard this brought up before. So anyway, this is a nice palette, and I'm really happy to have it. That would have been um, $62. So they stay on pretty well. There just is some kickback. Okay, the next thing I got, and I think I'm going to like this. This was my choice, and this is the Tula Brighten Up Smoother Primer Gel. And I... Sometimes Tula products don't work as well on me, um, and then some of them I like. So, anyway, it was my choice. I was looking for a good primer. Um, I was worried. I'm always worried. Um, I have had some other Tula products that break me out right here, but this isn't doesn't seem to be doing it. And it is. It says it's silicone free. Um, priming gel grips makeup like a pro and helps brighten without clogging pores. It's supercharged with juicy. Yuzu Plus Skin Smoothing Probiotics formula burst onto the skin to create an instant cooling and refreshing sensation and it's for all skin types and it's supposed to have uh, provide brighter, smoother looking skin. And so um, what it looks like, it's a little safety seal, it looks a little, you know, it has a little bit of a smell and um, it's sort of probably like some of their other products. It's sort of like a little bit of a you know, it's like a gel, um, sort of a, sort of opaque, a little bit opaque. But, um, so anyway, I like it. Um, some other primers that I have tried actually sort of uh, cake up when you put the makeup on. So that didn't do this. Um, so I think I'm going to like it. I didn't notice this, like, you know, 
burst sensation on my face. And I was sort of glad because when I have that, um, that can actually irritate my skin. So it didn't. And so I think I'm going to like this and I think I'm going to use this. So that's a good one. And that would have been $34. So the next item, and this was not a choice. I didn't choose this. I think this for a lot of people was choice. And I didn't choose this, but I got it anyway. And what it is, it's the medium brown um, 04 micro brow defining pencil crayon by one size. So they do have good products. I don't really need um, that much brow. If I'm going to be doing something for my brows, it's going to be probably a, the tinted um, brow gel because I do tend to get some gray hairs in here. But this actually seemed, you know, if I want to try, if I were going to use one to fill in anything, it would be something like this. It's got a really, um, it's hard to see, it's got really uh, nice little stroke, so we can't see that, um, on one side, and it is retractable, and I like that, and then it's got a nice little, um, you know, brow brush here, so, and I really like the red packaging, I just really like, red's one of my favorite color, colors, I really like it, so this would have been $19, so I'm interested to give it a try. Okay, the next one, and I really like this, and I don't know I will, if this was a choice of mine or not, maybe it was, because um, I don't remember, I do remember that, that this was a choice, but I don't remember what the second one was, and I would, it could have been this, but I really like this, and this is by Elements, and it's called Superfood Fruit Vinegar Liquid Glow Radiance Facial Toner, and this, I really like Elements products. And I saw this and I'm like, well, this is something I've never tried. I don't have it. It's a toner. I try to use a toner every day. I think they make a big difference. And it has this top that you actually push. You have to put like a, a little cotton pad on here or something. And then you push down and then you apply it. And it, it has a, if you don't, it's going to shoot out the top. So it does not have a vinegar smell to it. But I have to tell you. It made my face feel really good after I put it on. So I, I used different things in the box. First of all, after I cleansed my face with something I got from my Glam Bag Plus from Ipsy, um, I'll talk about that on another video. I used this toner, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I would get this again myself. And then I used the um, some moisturizer that um, actually I don't remember which moisturizer I used, but. Hmm. I don't remember right offhand. But then I used the primer here. Oh, I know. I know the moisturizer I used was something I got in the Glam Back Plus, and it's a good one too. So that'll be on another video. And so then I used the primer, and then I used some Giorgio Armani um, base makeup, and the, the setting powder is the Fenty setting powder. And the, uh, the blush today is from um, Laura Geller, the baked blush. But anyway, so I really like this. So I was really happy to have it because, again, because of the time period, I thought I wasn't going to get it. Because usually when things are delayed, that means they're trying to find something to stick in there because they, they don't have something. So this would have been $36. So the next thing I got, and this is sort of cool, um, I don't know about the shade, it's a little bright, but it's this Benefit Cosmetics California Kissing Color Balm. And I will tell you, it feels good and it is staying on. So maybe a different shade would be better for me. This is sort of bright. I, this is the, um, let's see what this shade is. Cherry is what this shade is, cherry. So I think that was probably better than poppy because the poppy was going to be a little bit orange. So it's got a really interesting case that um, sort of it's hard to see, but it's like a, it's like a woman on it and it's like a little tulip kind of thing and it does the job to cover it up but anyway this is what it looks like and there's a it is a little bright you know possibly you could tone it down um, by you know blotting it um, so again I if they had this in other shades I may like that a little bit better but I went ahead and put it on today to see what I thought of the formula and I do like the formula and you know, that's part of it. You get to try the, the different formulas. And sometimes you get a shade that's better for you, and sometimes you don't. So anyway, this would have been uh, $21. So 
a good thing. I like that. So the last thing in here, and then um, this box, by the way, is $39.99, and I think they did add shipping and handling. I know Ipsy did. I think they did, too. It was like $1.99. So this is the Dear Midnight Star Crossed Eyeliner Duo. It contains creamy, long-wearing, intensely pigmented pencil eyeliners that are perfect for creating clean, precise lines or use an all, all, as an all-over eyeshadow. Well, there's two in here. This is what it looks like. And I will tell you that I actually have on, I put on the lip liner I have on with something I got in the drop shop because I didn't get the base box. But this is the, this is the um, core number 49 um, by Moonlit, Moonlit. And this is the lip, uh, the lip liner I used. So I, between the two products, this is pretty good. Um, this is a pretty good lip liner. So I don't know how you sharpen this. They, I read that you just sharpen it. This is plastic. I read you sharpen it like you would just sharpen a, wood, a, a wooden pencil. This is not retractable. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that, but we're going to have to see. So it looks like it's just something I'm not used to. Um, I'm used to it's either wood or it's retractable. That's what I'm used to. But anyway, so on these these liners, um, I do have on, it came in, I have a black, Blackest Night eyeliner pencil. Um, I did use that underneath here today. And it is what it says. It is black. And it seems to be staying put pretty well, so I'm happy about that. The other one is called Starlight, and it is very, very, very light. And I think that this is the one, it's here, I think this is the one that if you were going to use it as an eyeshadow, it would be this one because you're not going to use the black one as an eyeshadow. So it's so light, I'm thinking, I don't know how it really could be used as a liner other than and the way it goes on, it goes on more like it would have to be an eyeshadow and not a liner. And I don't know that it would really help me um, any way other than an eyeshadow. So I'm going to try it that way. But the formulas are pretty good. And so that I was pleased with. And and I and then this is the same brand. You know, I think this could have been a base box. I didn't get a base box this month because I got the Lux. But anyway, um, I like that. So the total of my products would have been... $210. And they have this nice card that comes on here that explains all of them, and I like that. Um, so it was worth the wait. I know that they had some moving issues, and so hopefully, uh, with a warehouse, and that's caused a lot of these orders to be delayed. So hopefully, that's resolved now. Um, but anyway, I think that I did pretty well. As, I mean, the two favorite, well, I have several, but um, my favorite products, um, this and this <laughs> and um i like i think i like this too so these are my three favorite products and the other ones were okay you know um it's not the best box probably but it's pretty good so i'm happy with it so anyway um i did get also the ipsy glam bag plus yesterday i'm going to do another video on that in just a minute so thanks for stopping by and have a great day goodbye